YouTubers, welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews, and we're going to take a look at something new from Unibrew. This is Ephemere's Elderberry, a wheat beer flavored with elderberries. This is the latest version of the uh, uh, the Ephemere series, uh, which actually contains one of my favorite Unibrew products of all time, the Ephemere Palm, or the apple-flavored, uh, Granny Smith apple-flavored Unibrew. Uh, Unibrew. Um, this specific one is, of course, the last in the, a long lineup of, uh, of fruit beers from the uh, esteemed Quebec brewery that uh, includes the Ephemere Cassis, Ephemere Palm, Ephemere Pear, Ephemere Cranberry, Ephemere um, Blueberry, uh, Ephemere Charisse. Uh, I'm not. I might be missing one or two, but uh, for the most part, I've had most of them and uh really liked the general i think there was like one or two that i really didn't uh wasn't really wowed by like ephemere cranberry i thought was kind of weak uh but uh, overall um they've definitely generally really liked these beers so i'm excited to finally try the uh the latest in the series now and um uh, an elderberry as you can see on the label you can see that in the uh, autofocus there um is kind of similar in appearance to like a black currant, and I think it's still uh, similar in flavor character as well. If you see my previous reviews on the Ephemere series, or you've had any of the Ephemere series, you pretty much know what to expect. To expect now, a wheat beer made with uh, a random flavor of berry or fruit or whatever. Mmm. Oh, leaking a little. I'll have to get some paper towel and clean that up in a sec. Not until I take a drink of this sucker. Yeah, leaking. Mm, looks nice though. Yeah, how centered is that? But I'm, I'm smelling it right off the top of, uh, right off the bat. I can smell it from here. It's got a very strong. I'm assuming that's what elderberries smell like. It's kind of. Like a dark fruit, but a little bit more mellow and mild in comparison to like a a black currant or a blueberry. It's kind of like a cross between black currant and blueberry, to be honest. It smells almost like blueberry. I'll be honest, I had one of these bottles before on BDU, and uh, I didn't realize it was the elderberry version. I thought it was the blueberry version when I was when I started drinking it, and I'm like, wow, this got really good. Cause I wasn't super wild by the blueberry version before, but this one's really, really uh, very noticeable in the aroma department. It's like blueberry, but maybe a bit more sour and a, definitely a bit sweeter, and maybe a bit more, a bit more wild. Like it's very floral. Um, one thing I do notice is that I'm not really getting much of the, uh, the wheat beer underneath. Uh, maybe like a hint of like a, a smoothness, like a, a, like a mellowness from like a banana note that's poking up underneath the overpowering f uh, fruit smell from the elderberry. Maybe a tiny hint of clove. I don't want to go as far as say coriander because I'm not really sure if I'm getting that I mean, maybe there's other things in this beer that are kind of giving me this kind of like a light, soapy kind of quality, but it doesn't really smell necessarily like coriander. Although I usually associate that with with the uh, Unibrew wheat beers, Belgian-style wheat beers. Oh, smells very good. Down the hatch. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Nice and mellow tart, like a little hint of sour, just enough to make a, a crisp note across the roof of the tongue, even though, across the top of the tongue, even though it's very light and very carbonated. The carbonation, the bubbles are very fine, so it comes off as creamy, a little bit filling, but exceptionally light and refreshing. leaving a, uh, a lingering elderberry fruit taste. I 
and that elderberry is tart, sweet, very akin to like blueberry. Perhaps maybe a bit more skewing towards Kool-Aid on that side of things. Maybe like a sugar drink. I don't necessarily think they used elderberry from concentrate or some shit, but it's it's definitely coming off as like a very sweet berry. And it's going down very easy. Oh, that's tasty. I especially really love how it's got this kind of dusty, tart, uh, berry flavor. Which, to me, makes this one of the best Ephemere series uh, beers I've had to date. This is right up there with the apple, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, I'd probably go for the apple over this. Just because I like apples better, in general. But I would take this over, over the cassis or the blueberry any day. This is delicious. Um, I'll give that a, uh, a four point two five out of five. I'm I'm really enjoying this. This is one of the best Ephemere beers that I've had to date. Uh, definitely recommend trying this if you're into the Ephemere series or just curious. Uh, if you really like trying berry flavored beers, like especially if you're a big fan of like blueberry ales, uh, you'll probably love this one. There's more berry flavor. There's not really a lot of wheat flavor coming in the back. It's just that, uh, like a wheat beer flavor, like a Belgian wit kind of flavor coming out of the back of this one. It's all pretty well masked by the by the the fruit, but I think the fruit really works well with this beer. Um, overall, uh, I think it's one of the best of the Ephemere series. <laughs> and I really like the Ephemere series. Anyway, thanks Unibrew for making that. Um, thanks everybody for watching. I I really enjoy this, and I'm gonna enjoy. Clean, uh, enjoy drinking the rest of this. Uh, well, definitely much more than I'm going to enjoy cleaning up the mess. Anyway, thanks for watching. Maxwell Stars Beer Review, and we'll talk to you folks later. Cheers. <laughs>